All right, guys. I want to show you today a 2025 Volvo. Ah, Volvo. Sorry. Mac. Mac Anting truck. It is a Volvo dealership, but believe it or not, these trucks actually have the same engine. For those who don't know, they have the same drive, same transmission, same engine. What's different between the Volvo and a Mac is the outside body. And I do want to say thank you for Volvo here at Bergies and Effort at PA uh, for letting me make a video of this truck. If you guys have any questions, this is for sale. Reach out to Alex. But let's take a look at this beautiful truck. This one, a lot of these Macs do have the full fairing package. This one has the classic look, which I do appreciate. Has the open frame look, has your fairings right here. Mac, open tanks, polished tanks. It looks really nice. It gives it that classic look. Doesn't have your fairings here in the back either. So it's a nice, smooth look. Got exhaust right there. What's cool about it is like you literally, have, it's so easy to work on trucks like this because there's nothing for you to take off. No plastic fairings, nothing. Everything's open. You need to change some wire or air hose or anything. It's easy access. That's cool. I like that they kept the classic look. Looks nice with these air vents right here. The front is what's so cool about this Mack truck. It just looks so aggressive, like a bulldog. Just like this one right here. Look at that. does have all the technologies this is a 2025 so you have your lane assist it has I don't know if this one has the adaptive it does it has the adaptive cruise control so it has all the safety features but you still have the classic look to it it's your storage back plenty of storage same thing on the other side I like how their handles are like kind of like old school Whatever. metal not plastic Getting some storage here. Small little things like that is pretty cool. And I like how the we'll get to the inside, the interior, how it has that tough look to it. You know, kind of like a very industrial look. You can see the exposed like nuts and bolts and stuff like that. And does have the little window here. Volvo doesn't have that, so it has that classic. It's actually not just for the looks, it actually helps you a lot when you're driving down the road. This is like your blind spot from the driver's side. You can see if somebody's right in your blind spot. And this would be your whole DPF system right there under that step. And the different, uh, another cool thing I like the Max. So the Volvo's you can open from the inside, but if you the Mac, you don't have to go inside to open up. You can actually open it from here. Let me open up this guardrail. Hold on one second. This hard with one hand. Okay. There you go. So they have a handle right here. You push it to the left, to the right. There you go. Grab onto that puppy right there. And open up. Like I said, this is a, a Volvo d13 engine it the only different different thing about it is the color and it's called an mp8 everything is the same thing guys who who work on these engines know same alternator same everything same design and speaking of working on it i do like how it does have a lot of space here if you just think of the air filter box plenty of space to work around the engine Yeah, same coolant, same turbo, same EGR cooler, everything's same as Volvo. Just the uh, air box is different. Let's take a look inside. See what I'm talking about? Like this whole industrial tough look, I like that. It's kind of like exposed. Yeah, you got a big handlebar right here 
this thing looks like it's three feet got plenty of uh, handles to grab onto you got your what is that that's your short power 120 volt and then you got your engine block heater right there there's your battery disconnection all right that's how it looks inside seats completely different from Volvo I think that's yeah that's a max seat so close only max has this kind of seat so this is cloth the side is vinyl or leather I'm not sure so this is the same material that goes all the way up here I like the steering wheel how kind of has the classic look to it you know the whole panel layout has this classic vibe to it it does has the i shift well they call it the m drive for the max but the same thing let me start up the gauges so you can see you got the good old old school gauges it's not digital you have a small screen right here everything else is real gauges you got some gauges over there you got your turbo your uh, gear temps your exhaust temp air application all that stuff I do like the look of this classic looks nice appreciate it you know it does have the same kind of pedal here like the Volvo does to move your steering wheel up and down forward back so Oh, here's another thing. Look at this. Is this a split window? It looks like a split window. That's nice. Yeah. That's what I was talking about the window. So you see how if you're driving from here, you look that way. You can. That's your blind spot. Because Volvo would have a mirror right there to see for your blind spot. I prefer that because you can see so much better. Because those mirrors, they're always dirty and nobody ever uses them. I'd probably use that a lot more. So this is their, I believe this is their 70 inch sleeper. Doesn't have the bu uh, bunk bed right here. Just one bed over here. A little bit different from the Volvo. You just basically have shelves right here. I'd say the shelf is like two, three inches. For small stuff, you do have bigger boxes in here. It even has the classic air horn style. Look at that. Volvo needs to do that, bring that back to their trucks. Let me turn on the lights here, it's kind of dark. There you go. You got plenty of connections here 12 volt, your aux, USB connections, has all your USB connections in the front too. This will be your closet. It has the hanger right there, big mirror right there shelves over here everything's still wrapped I think that's your fridge nope that's not your fridge that's just storage so your fridge is gonna be on this side oh it's a slide out fridge okay I like the blue lights it looks pretty cool so that's your freezer right there that's your freezer that's nice different from Volvo. Volvo, you open the door, it's a swing door, and this is a slide out door. Kind of like the Canwerf style. There's your TV mount. This is where your typical kid would put your microwave. More storage boxes over here. I'm not sure if you can opt for a bunk bed. I probably you could. This one, the way it's configured is with this storage boxes. And this, is actually a le leather or vinyl I'm not sure but in cloth and this is also the same thing so all of this is uh, vi either vinyl or leather you got cloth right here yeah windows open the same way as in the Volvo's just different size and shape pretty simple to open them and then you got more storage here under the bed see yeah, you gotta put this up 
I kind of like how they made those uh, bins over there. This one's open so you have access to your fire extinguisher. You got your Boston heater right there. I like the bins. That's nice. You can put some stuff in there. So yeah, that's your sleeper. That's your cab. I do like the classic. I love the steering wheel. I don't know why. It looks pretty cool. You got two cup holders. There's your 12 volt. I think there should be USB somewhere. There's a 12 volt. Oh, it's right there. So that's your interior. Everything's power. Power windows, lock. They they have they do have the buttons for unlock and lock. Panic button. So yeah, there's your lane assist light. It will come up come on if you're turning right and there's a car right there so for your blind spot helps you out there's your adaptive cruise control so yeah that's a quick look of this Volvo uh Mac <laughs> keep on calling it Volvo of this Mac truck what do you guys think would you choose this classic look over the Volvo or you prefer the Volvo aerodynamic look Kind of like this classic look for this. Definitely goes for this Mack truck.